Hello, welcome back to another video. Anna here. Happy whatever day of the week it is when you're watching this. <laughs> For me, it's Wednesday. Today is number 20 in our 30 videos in 30 days challenge, which is crazy that I've made it this far. I keep saying that every day now, but yeah, 20. So 10 more left. Don't forget guys, I have a shell challenge going on as well. Make sure you check that video out and join. It ends in one week and we'll be announcing the winner on a live stream here. I can't wait to see what you guys have created with my shell and I will be very excited as well to build with my shell because I haven't yet. That's next week's project. I'm day to day right now. I'm barely getting by, but it's all right. <laughs> so today's video is the random build generator. We're going to do this one again. I'm going to use the same generator I used last time where we made that modern rainbow house, which was kind of cool. It was like a mid-century modern rainbow house. We're going to roll this generator again. I like this one because it gave me a little more like specific certain area I can build in and like the budget is changeable and stuff like that than the first one I did which also was fun it wasn't quite as much of a challenge so this time I made sure to toggle off all my packs that I don't have which is like what I have four stuff packs I don't have and then the range is going to be two to three special items or rooms and for one to six sims and then I dropped the simoleons last time we had a pretty high budget it can go up to 100 but I dropped it to 50 so the highest will be 50 and lowest will be 10k and we're gonna see what budget we get for this house. So I want it to be a challenge today. All right, let's randomize and see what we get to build today. All right, ready? Build a red eco-friendly house in San Myshuno with the Latrate Volcanic Activity for three sims with a budget of 22K. Okay, <laughs> red eco-friendly, eh? I don't consider red as much of an eco-friendly color, but I'm sure we can make it work. Interesting. A cauldron room, a fountain of mirth, and a small flower garden. Oh, Lord. Okay, well then. <laughs> this was going to be complicated. I wanted a challenge, I guess. The budget being a little bit low is going to be a struggle, too. So, like, I'm not going to be able to make too big of a house. But I have to make room for this, like, flower garden thing. Well, I mean, flower garden, that's, like, just landscape on the outside, right? I mean, I guess I'll have, like, a little separate thing that's, like, a garden with just flowers. I don't know. Maybe, like, a courtyard type thing. Like, an eco-friendly house with, like, a courtyard in the middle. The cauldron room, though, that's going to be the hardest thing to fit. What is a fountain of mirth, anyway? Luxury party stuff. Oh, <laughs> it's a, oh God, it's a drink fountain. Okay, it's this thing. Oh God. Okay, this is gonna be harder than I thought. <laughs> but it'll be cool if I pull it off. Okay, guys, such a random like mix of stuff. Okay, so San Machino volcanic house, twenty two k budget, red cauldron room fountain, mirth small flower garden. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so I picked a lot here in San Machino. This was where the museum was, I guess. There's not many lots to choose from here that aren't apartments, so. And a couple of the other ones I didn't like because they had too many pink trees right next to it. And I think the red house is gonna clash with the pink tree. So I like this one cause it's a little more like separated from things. It's a weird place to live, but you know what? And you even get this sign outside your house. Oh God, that's gonna be annoying though. Wait, is that gonna show in the thumbnail screenshot? Oh my God, it is. Oh, that's so triggering. Oh, well. Let us build our eco-friendly house. So remember we have, hold on. I guess I have to get a sim in here to do the whole budget thing. So give me a moment to do that. Cause then we have to track how much money we have. We have to switch between the two modes and blah, blah, blah. All right, meet Julius McGuffin, the eco innovator, green fiend, recycled disciple, whatever person. All right, he's gonna be our testing sim who lives in this house. He would totally live there. Okay, where was this house? Oh, it was over here. You can't afford this lot. Watch me, watch me afford it now. Ha ha, let's go. So 22, so it's gonna be just over a starter home. So we're not gonna be able to go too crazy with decorating, which is kind of good, but kind of bad at the same time. Cause we do have to fit all this stuff and make it look like it makes sense. All right, very bright, very, very, very bright. So eco-friendly house, eh? It's not gonna be too big, but I was thinking like modern. Do we wanna do like shipping container vibes or not? I wanna have a little flower garden like centered in in the house like, is that weird like i want it to be open like all this will be windows on the inner center to this little flower gardeny area 
I guess, size-wise what we're doing. Remember, we have to have a cauldron room as well. So it may need to be two-story because I don't know if I want to put the cauldron room downstairs, let's be honest. But we don't have a ton of money, so the size and shape might change. <laughs> Oh, why is the wall height so tall? Okay, whew. I was like, no, 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 no. Short wall height, please. Thank you. So that plus that looks weird. But you know what? Red eco-friendly house. So we want lots of windows and kind of more modern, I guess, again. Ugh. I'm still not good at making modern look that good, you know? I don't understand. It's like wondering if I want to like block this off. Yeah, probably something like that because we want this to be kind of like a centerpiece. So probably just going to try to go for most eco lifestyle and then other stuff obviously but we're gonna start there there's no stairs for eco lifestyle never mind base game has some stairs maybe uh, like these little ladder stairs what door am i gonna use to god why do i always get modern for these builds it's all it's like makes it 10 times harder what's the money at for the house now okay hold on gotta go live gotta go back and see what the value is 30 wait is it really that expensive just for the base of the house no that can't be right i'm gonna have to make this house way smaller <laughs> wow i blame this as well so we may have to figure out how to make this yeah that's a lot of money right there oh god hold on what have i done there okay this is gonna be um even smaller than i had a uh, pictured so let's uh save some money by shrinking this down so much for the awesome idea i had for the flower garden we were at 36 000. how is that accurate like i do have volcanic activity on is that making the house cost go up okay never mind maybe we don't get a two-story house i'm not gonna be able to build the house that i want with this budget that can't be accurate i don't know something's wrong here i don't understand why the value is so high okay i'm a dummy so the value of the lot itself is thirty thousand, which means that the lot cost is thirty thousand. but we're not including that in the cost of the home i don't know why i was being so dumb about it like, I, I was so confused. I was like, this can't be right. Because I've never had it be that high before. But I guess if you're living in a different area or a different lot, the value can be higher already before you even start. So what we're going to do is go back and rebuild everything I just deleted because I'm a dummy. It was only like 4000 for that whole idea. I did like the shape we had. God, I can't believe it. Like, I screwed that up. Well, like, I haven't done that much like budget build per se where i'm like worried about the cost like that i've done budgets but i haven't like looked at the lot budget except for that one starter home i did but it makes sense because the starter home already had included probably the ten thousand dollars that was the lot price the lot itself was cheaper than this lot so what we're gonna do is not go above fifty two thousand because twenty two thousand more than 30 so we can't go higher than that and then we'll be all right i think that will fix our <laughs> crazy issues and i think we do two stories then i did like that because we're gonna have to put the cauldron room upstairs i'm sorry that's not going downstairs no no just no this is still too wide we're probably gonna go in by one because we definitely will have the money to afford this i mean this actually might even be a little bit skinnier oh no one skinnier not two all right what do we think about that so flower garden will be in the middle actually we're gonna make it skinnier but why is this side so wide now so see right now we're at seven thousand two hundred that means for the whole lot cost and we still might shrink the house a little but i think that's still okay for now we're just opening it all up let's get some light in here come on there we go do a small patio there i kind of still want to close it then this would need to go out to it do we want to do that the only problem here is like yeah i'd have to do a three wide which isn't terrible yeah that makes sense this would probably be fenced in i don't really know kind of making it up Ooh, tranquil Ooh, we need red are we doing red and black or like red and white this one's got red Ooh, we could pull that one off pops of red i kind of like that i don't know we could always change it platform trim probably gonna end up being black and red let's be honest you know that's probably where it's gonna go there's nothing that says it can't be it does have a cauldron room so i do feel like it's gonna be maybe a little bit more darker like it'll have red and stuff but like it has a cauldron room so maybe like dungeony i don't know why a small flower garden that is small can we make it smaller maybe Ooh, that could be cool because then you could put a little seating area right here wallpaper in red obviously maybe the modern wood paneling or we use that inside 
Mm, okay, I'm thinking about saving that so I don't forget about it. The outside, maybe something different. Like it doesn't have to be modern. Nothing says this house has to be modern, but that's just kind of the vibes I, I get from the description that we got. That it should be a little bit more modern. I don't know. It was kind of like a weird textury thing, but I don't know if I love it. We do have the shipping containers, but like, mmm. I mean, this red still, we could get away with. I still like just the siding that's red. What do we think about that? I like these concrete columns from Get Famous. I think that could fit well here. Like, do I want to put it right there though or not? I think it makes sense for it to be there, but then I, do we put it on the corners? And I'm not hating this, what we got so far. Red and black, beautiful. We got a room for our garden and the cauldron room with the other fountain thing can go downstairs. So I think I'm gonna figure out the front door though first. How about, do we have a red door or do we want a black door? Red and black, like this one. Yes, actually. Oh my God, that door is perfect. Could not be more perfect for this house. Okay, figure out roofing, I guess. Next. Okay, so I just checked. We're at 39,086 for our budget. That means I only have like 13,000 and left for the rest of the house so i think i have to be done with the outside probably gonna have very minimal land well actually landscaping can be debugged so actually i'm not worried about trying to make the outside look good in that sense i think that's okay shape for the house it is more modern and i think it's out of my comfort zone i really like it oh i haven't done windows god dang it let me figure out windows and then we'll go inside five minutes later okay so <laughs> this house is turning out really cool already but I probably went a little crazy with the windows. I may have to delete some and get some cheaper ones because these are what, 210? And these ones are like 20, 35. So I think as much as I really like them, we got to save a few bucks because uh, yeah. Like these ones are 210. Like I can't, I can't justify those being on the house. I can justify these ones, I think. They're 95 and they're a little bit interesting still. Mm, I'm not even sure I want to do that. I might just do more of these they're just so much cheaper i'll probably just do two there and none here if i do one down here it'll be like one of these and these ones are 30 perfect and we can change things we can delete a couple windows we can move things around but that should have saved us a few hundred dollars i think i'm going a little ham on this this might be too big of a house too let's be honest should i shrink it a little bit maybe a couple squares but i really like the shape of it right now yeah only having like twelve thousand more dollars is not quite gonna be enough so if we shrunk it like by a square on the right side it should save us a few hundred and then i just have to adjust the window situation honestly get rid of that one how much is this one this one is 85 probably do a bathroom honestly in this corner or i was thinking kitchen in this corner but now i'm not sure i still might get rid of this one i really like it no okay gotta save that money i think i'll do one of these no i already did one of those never mind see two of those yeah they're 20 a piece so that saves a good chunk as well and see these ones i might get rid of these too but for now it might be all right and the house is slightly skinnier now hopefully i can furnish it otherwise i'm not gonna do any landscaping till the end because i have a feeling i may need to shrink the house again but it's super cute already right i kind of like it mm, i think this is too many probably just gonna do another one of these instead yeah and then we might even get rid of that one but i'm not sure no i like the ones on the front though i really like the look but let me figure out flooring and then wallpaper for indoors and hopefully see where we're at budget wise then okay we're at forty five thousand right now and i can only go to six thousand more so um this house has got to shrink that's like the only option sucks though because i like the shape of it so much but we gotta shrink and we might need to delete some windows it's just not gonna happen otherwise like honestly this one's gotta go and even then we're still gonna be in trouble but i think i got the layout kind of what i want it to be like this will be living entryway like we're gonna have to be very sparse with our decorations i think we're just gonna get the essentials in this house and hope it turns out and then do the debug landscaping yeah it's gonna probably be looking like an ea build at this point <laughs> We got our cauldron up in the room. I just had to make sure that got in there. We do have a door I can put right here. I know it's a little funky, but it fits better than if I moved it a different way. So I think that's all right. And then this was going to be a bathroom, but I might make it a smaller bathroom now. But then I'm like, nah, I'll just make it an empty bathroom. Landing slash study, maybe bedroom, living room over here, kitchen, dining kind of in this area, maybe like kitchen in this little corner by the bathroom and then the dining could be right here yeah i think that would work all right 
Let me figure out wallpaper. All right, so where I'm at now is I did some accent walls with black and changed some stuff around, got the flooring figured out in the bathrooms, upstairs, added some tile here and in this bedroom and using the Dream Home Decorator wallpaper. Oh, this gotta be centered. And not much windows in this room. Probably end up trying to give you another one, but I don't know. I like this chevron like accent wall and I used it in a couple places and on the staircase. I don't know, I think it just looks nice. I like the color scheme, but we're at 45 thousand which means we have seven thousand left to work with so i'm gonna make sure we get down this fountain of mirth i think you have to put it on a table so you have to like put one of these okay where are we gonna put this like in the random corner over here i don't know and then fountain of mirth there you go it goes there okay beautiful if you call it that beautiful so that's there that's fine hundred dollars plus two oh that's a lot of money okay well who needs a dining room table when you have a fountain all right let me figure out the kitchen layout too because i'm not sure what we're gonna do there five minutes later so kitchen's coming along i did use country living cottage living whatever it's called because their cabinets were one of the cheaper ones other than like the crappy ones so they're actually pretty affordable less than 200 and we're not gonna have a ton of counter space in this house i'm sorry that's just not gonna happen but we do have the basics fridge oven dishwasher you're not gonna get a dishwasher i've already decided nope no dishwasher for you sorry you get a garbage bin yes that's okay this one's 50 and it looks good all right we'll take you perfect i gotta check the budget i worry that cost me a couple thousand definitely more than a couple thousand let's see yee, 48 000. okay well kitchen essentials are done i guess we have to put a smoke alarm oh that's 75 dollars. okay whatever so unnecessary but i have to do it i guess we just keep going and switch out windows and stuff when we have to for money okay dining room done i went to the cheap chairs dream home decorator table this cable knit rug is free so i like how it's modern but there's also like a little bit of like country style coming in too so don't worry about it and then this poster just because i thought it looks really nice right there this house is gonna be so empty oh god okay should we do the entryway slash living room? What is this gonna be then? I don't even know. I'm not even gonna have money for anything. Living room is supposed to be here. But then I thought living room was gonna be over here too. I don't even know what's right anymore. There's a couch. I don't know if it should go there. Yeah, I kind of like it. That one's not too expensive, right? 290. I mean, it's not the cheapest, but it's not the worst. How much are you? 65? I mean, these are 30. And these are pretty hipster and it takes up a ton of space. You know what? I'm gonna put that there. Uh, the whole TV situation, you don't get one. You just don't get one. There's no way. Not without spending $2,000. Yeah, no. But you can have music. Ooh, maybe not. Those are expensive. I use these in like every house. $700. Wall speaker. Well, you can have some music in here. At least that's something. We should do a fireplace just to fill some space. Wait, no, fireplaces are expensive. Never mind. I lied. We don't have money for a fireplace. What am I thinking? I don't know. Maybe a chair like over here. And then we need something by the front door. Probably just like one of these. Okay, you got a table right there. Cheap one. We might use this table a couple times. We do probably need a rug in here here but i don't know what this room is gonna be now because i kind of set this up to be the living room let me figure out the rest of this room i don't know what i'm doing five minutes later okay living room not my best work but it's as simple as i can do this was free yarny was free i had to use them i gotta look into debug more to find more clutter items but i want to make sure i get all the essentials in the house first so we're gonna do the bathroom next <sighs> this is yeah this is already gonna be a problem and i'm probably gonna delete this picture but i like it it's 225 i don't think i can afford it this sucks because this house is actually really cool and i wanted to deck it out and now i have no budget and it's very sad Fifty thousand. we only have like 1500 left yeah this is gonna this is gonna be a problem i'm probably gonna just delete these columns because that's what 45 of these <laughs> and let's try to to squish the budget so these are two wide this is three wide here you know what i like how it was moved in by one but i think that saved us a tiny bit of money right how much oh 16 dollars. that's it oh well still 16 dollars is 16 dollars. you know what we can get away with that maybe all right bathroom time probably the most simple bathroom that i've done <laughs> i don't know i put some decals up because they were super cheap black and white in the bathroom no red just to change it up a little bit and yeah added a plant because i can't not have at least one plant but i want to add more like one right here but i know it's just i can't afford it so moving on to uh god i don't even know what to call this room study slash lounge yeah i guess we could do some bookcases and stuff on this side i'd be like a reading area like over there is where you chill and like socialize and here is like where you sit and read and chat and stuff i don't know 
But now, oh god, they're kind of expensive. We have these fabricated bookshelves. We have these tiny ones. I was like, oh yeah, bookshelves, easy, but they're really expensive. Do we even need bookshelves in this house? All right, let me get a desk first. I'm pretty sure we're over budget already, which is gonna be a big problem. So gonna have to cut some corners here very soon. I keep going back and like shrinking the top floor by like one square. So this side is now a little bit shorter. And then I realized this part was a platform and platforms cost actual money and roofs do not. So I got rid of the platform, even though that looked a little bit better and we are dealing with the roof yay yeah i'm still broke <laughs> still barely have 2000 i have to finish three rooms and bottom floor i don't even know i might have to change the wallpaper too to like more cheap wallpaper maybe that'll that'll save me some money hold on because i love this chevron this black chevron but i think it was kind of expensive let me see what other options we have oh no it wasn't Nope, that's not expensive. What about you? You're only $2. I think all that is good. What about the flooring? Flooring should be only $4. Is there cheaper flooring? No. $4 is as cheap as flooring. So like, what else can I do other than delete a bunch of other things? Well, I can delete this picture. I know that one is too expensive. I really like how this kitchen looks, but we may have to go a little bit cheaper. Hmm. So I saved a tiny bit by changing the railings. Oh yeah, you probably haven't seen what I did upstairs. I don't know what I'm doing upstairs, guys. I'm trying to like delete flooring and everything, trying to make it better, but I'm not sure if this is a good, cause if I do this, it adds a bunch of money. So like I'm trying to cut the room. I don't think I can do any, no, I can't do one more cause then it looks funny with the cabinet. But that's fair. So it's like overlooking downstairs, even though it's not that good of an overlook. And then I use these glass wall fences, which are $0 instead of the expensive ones I was using before. Like I love these ones actually. These ones out here, I may have to switch out for this free fence too. Cause look how much that saves me, 345 just for fencing right there. That saved me so much money right there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I mean, it's not perfect, but it still looks okay. Uh, window situation, probably need one more over here. It doesn't look quite as cool as it did, but we are gonna deal. We're still gonna do the flower garden here, but that's gonna be all debug. So I'm not worried about that. Honestly, we gotta get rid of this rug, $40 there. Okay, I think we're closer. No, what? Delete the columns. Delete it. I like the columns, but they're 45 a piece. I'll only keep the ones on the front there. Okay, that saved me a tiny bit too. All right, good, good, good. And I got it back under 50,000 by shrinking this side a lot and switching out a bunch of windows. So <laughs> I don't think it quite looks as good as it did initially, but I'm probably gonna delete these columns too. Wait, what was that? Oh, that I had two columns there. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, I just found a bunch of money. All right. <laughs> so there it is. I switched out a lot of windows for smaller windows, as you can tell, and cheaper ones. And I realized this snowy escape window is almost the same. It's just slightly less tall as this window and it's $5 less. So honestly, I'll probably just switch out all the ones that are the tall ones for the square ones. Because I was being ambitious and being like, yeah, look, you can see everywhere. No. So now this area over here can be like a small study without having to worry about trying to fill so much space. It is a lot skinnier now, but we needed to do that. God, that took me a bit. This is a fun one, definitely. It's a good challenge. Try to make it look good with a starter home budget. Ugh. Five minutes later. I think the study area is kind of done. Put as much as I could as like carefully as I could. We may have to come back and add more later. I moved a few things around, changed some lights. So we do have a little bit different lighting now. Ugh, God, this table, this is how much. $600 of my budget went to that table. That's insane. So now we gotta go upstairs and make this make sense. I'm probably doing like nothing in the hallway and just like a very simple bedroom. Bathroom looks big, but it's gonna have like nothing in it. Probably a bathtub to fill some space, but that's it. Okay, let's do a bedroom. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so what's the cheapest double bed? This one. This one's 25. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so dirty, though. Ooh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. You get a double futon use. Hey, at least it's not quite as bad as the other one. Is that walkable? Like, can they walk there? I think they can. I hope so. This layout isn't going to make sense otherwise. All right, let me test it. Hold on. I think he can. Otherwise, he would already have said he had a problem. Yeah. All right, perfect. All right, now get out. Get out. Five minutes later. All right. 
bedroom i think is complete i kind of took some eco lifestyle stuff for the lamp got some nice planter box in here and maybe they just have a crush on a boy band i don't know don't judge they love music sure and then a mirror and a dresser and all that is it and then i put a couple of pictures up here they're black and white pictures and i think they look nice but i may delete one or two if i need to we're cutting close to the budget though we have like a thousand left i think and that's a problem <laughs> Less than a thousand. Okay, so let me do the bathroom. And this room's probably gonna be like super empty. And then we're done. All right, I'm trying to figure out this cauldron room and make it look like witchy and cool. And I only have like 200 simoleons. And I think I'm probably over it right now. But this curios thing is only a hundred. And then I added like some cheap debug uh, crystals and stuff in there. And this is a debug thing. That's like a street lantern thing, but it doesn't glow. But I think it looks cool. So I'll probably just throw it in there. It fills the space. And then let me check budget exactly after I've done that. It should be over. No, 51.879 still. Okay. So that means I have like 200 no 131 that's it to finish this room i don't even know what to do like uh, i don't i don't know like i want to use like a wand display thing it's 50 simoleons but like what do i put it on you know i need a table okay i got rid of the upper cabinets because they were like 150 each and i was like 200 over so i was like you know what i'll just delete it all you don't have a real oven here so i'm debating we just buy a new oven but there's no upper cabinets so i think we're like we're kind of switching it around but i think this will work okay don't really want to use this one i kind of want to use the country one yeah we're gonna use it it's only a little bit more expensive but i still save money overall and i should be under budget now for sure five one one four three zero oh yeah heck yeah we got plenty of room to play because we have to do the landscaping part and i may need a little bit of help with that but i did find also some money by shrinking our patio who needs a patio right <laughs> and the back door has only a two wide staircase instead of a three wide so i, I i've been cutting the corners making it work now let me figure out how i'm gonna make the flower garden look good oh yeah cauldron room is uh pretty bare i might try to put one more thing in there now that i have a tiny bit extra money it's like a plant something because otherwise it's pretty boring an orange tree i don't know probably throw you in there just because i can and maybe one more thing on the wall and then we'll do the garden a little longer than a few minutes later okay i made the flower garden small flower garden i still gotta finish some uh detail with the dirt underneath the plant but i got it to fifty-two thousand and two. so two simoleons over budget i can probably find a way to bring that down but i'm gonna say that's pretty good and we got a couple trees and yeah i think i'm pretty content i would love to do more to this house that's where we're at small flower garden check cauldron room check a uh, weird fountain of mirth. Check. That was the biggest waste of money. No joke. That was literally the worst. And yeah, there's our really plain kitchen right now. It is very plain, but you know what? I don't care. I'm content with this. You can build on this house if you want or don't even download it if you don't want. I don't know. <laughs> Tiny little bedroom. There you go. Beautiful. And it had to be, wait a minute. I messed up. I need to make one more bed in this house. And that's the problem. So you know what? This challenge, I just, yeah, I just read it again. It says for three Sims. And I forgot that part of the challenge because I was so worried about everything else. Oh, well, it's fine for two Sims. And then a third one can sleep on the couch or the bathtub your choice so uh, there we go maybe i'll do a little bit of like debug lighting maybe and like just clean this up and then we are done thank you so much for putting up with me through this build all right that's it that's that's the best i can do i am done with this because i don't have enough uh money <laughs> you can tell we are two dollars over the budget and i kind of failed because i didn't do a third bedroom or a second bedroom i guess whoops oh well but it was fun i don't hate it and i think it turned out still pretty nice and uh i guess i'm trying to learn how to build in a modern style because lately that's uh what's been happening i don't know what do you guys think does it look all right it's just it's so odd this thing was the biggest annoyance okay anyways i guess that's it for this video make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't yet let me know uh what you think of this <laughs> and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video Thank you.